In this video, I'll be showing tips and tricks to get your jailbreak inventory stacked. Whether you're a beginner starting off with nothing or you're in the middle. You're not quite rich, but you're not poor either. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jailbreak Rags to Riches Trading Guide. Subscribe if you enjoy. Alright, so we've all been there. You open up your inventory to see a bunch of garbage stuff while all these other players have insanely valued items. Don't let them discourage you. It's not that serious. It's just a bunch of pixels. You're the true winner here. You actually have a life. But seriously, the journey to the top is not going to be easy. There's basically no shortcuts, which I'll talk about more later. No one's gonna hand you anything, so stop begging. Let's get into the actual guide. This first part may seem slow, but it'll pick up. I always say this, set a goal for yourself. What are you trying to get? Don't make it too overwhelming because you'll just give up. When I started trading, my goal was the torpedo and I'm sure many of your guys' is, is that too. Now the torpedo did recently drop in value but is slowly going back up. The biggest problem with trading right now and it's been a big issue for a while now is dupes, right? They've basically ruined the entire jailbreak economy as a whole. If you care whether your items are duped or not, you'll obviously have to watch out for them. Either way, I'd strongly suggest getting some sort of dupe list so you know how much you're paying because duped items obviously are less valuable than clean items. There are three items mainly that are highly duped, the torpedo, beam, and hyperchrome level 5s. Watch out for those the most. That doesn't mean other items can't be duped as well. If you're a beginner and have nothing, I'd suggest grinding for the volt bike. The two best game passes that'll make the grinding so much faster and easier would be the maximum level duffel bag, giving you more money in Pro Garage, allowing you to spawn cars wherever you are. Once you get the Volt Bike, you either go straight to training or continue grinding for the concept. That'll take a bit longer, so I'd suggest just starting to trade. Do the cycle called the 1 mil flip, trade a high demanding 1 mil for another 1 mil, and adds then flip it back so you've profited the ads. Keep doing this until your inventory grows and you have enough for a standard mid-tier limited 2.5 million vehicle, such as the Torero or even better, the Aperture. Your goal is to get your inventory valued at around 8 to 10 million. If you got the Carbonara that went limited recently, even better, you have another vehicle that'll help you out. It's going for a price of around 3 million right now. Try to only trade for mid to high demanding vehicles. Like I said, try getting your inventory to around the 8 mil value mark. Once you do, get a hyperchrome yellow level 3. Yellow is the lowest valued and demanding one, so it won't be tough to get. You have to try to get this yellow level 3 to a level 4. Robbing the train won't be difficult. The hardest part is the amount of times you'll have to rob it, which is up to 750 times to get 100% pity. You can get it way quicker, or you can go through a semi-harder alternative route that'll allow you to get it faster, which is robbing the mansion, giving you a 50% more chance to get a hyperchrome. What I do is server hop for either of the trains because of how easy and fast you can rob them and move on to another server if you could get in 15 robs a day you'll get it in less than half a month let's fast forward to the point where you get the hyperchrome yellow level 4 you made around 25 to 30 million dollars of profit there's multiple options from there you could trade that level 4 back down for multiple higher demanding level 3 colors such as blue and grind that up to a level 4 for profit or you could trade to the car you want like the torpedo for the first option it's a more guaranteed way to continue making profit as long as you play the game. Demand is probably going to be your biggest issue at first. You could also get some jackpot trades here and there from rich collectors who willingly pay an unnecessary amount for a certain item. Here I'll be listing a bunch of vehicles and items that are doing well value-wise as of now. The Power One, Javelin, Banana Car, Celsius, Torpedo, Checker, Thruster, and void rooms. While trading recently, I've noticed these items are most desired by the community. Remember, high demanding items will give you a way higher chance of getting an overpay. Don't trade all your items for one big item like a hyperchrome level 5. It's completely useless. If you want a hyperchrome, trade for a level 4 and grind it up. This is sort of a weird tip, but it kind of works. Do this more often. Try getting people to come to you to offer for your items and not the other way around because they're more likely to overpay. As I was talking earlier about how there aren't any shortcuts, there's actually 
one. If you're new and have enjoyed so far, subscribe and like this video. Once we hit 13,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away one of eight torpedoes for the Nothing to Eight Torpedo series. That's technically a shortcut. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, make sure to subscribe. Comment below any other methods you guys have to get profit in jailbreak. YouTube suggests these videos to watch next. Check it out.